Hi, I'm Cindy Geyer, and you're watching The Barry Z Show. Hi, this is James Estrom, celebrity photographer, the number one photographer in New York City. You are watching The Barry Z Show. Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh! I'm Rita. And I'm Tomacek. And we're celebrating, celebrating Tom's birthday here. That's right. On The Barry Z Show right here in New York. Number one Barry Z Show. Oh, number one, beyond number one. <laughs> Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show at the Pink Elephant, right? Is this the Pink Elephant? This is the Pink Elephant, but, but it is transformed into a birthday party tonight. And this was arranged by Rita Cosby and James Estra! James, yes! James Estra. James is the man. I'm innocent. Are you really? We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go anywhere. And we love you, Rita Cosby. Barry Z, we love you. We love you. Love him! <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! What do you love most about HX? The theater guide. And the restaurant tips. Your Stevie Nicks interview? Yeah. Fantastic. It's got the hottest man around. The boys. I have the booze too, yeah. Where can I find one? Hi, it's Barry Z at the Pink Elephant with this gorgeous looking, ravishing beauty by the name of Cindy Gaia, who you, I Barry. love. You say all the sweetest things. If I wasn't gay and you wasn't married. Slam, bam, thank you, man. We have beautiful children. <laughs> They'd have like Love these you. little noses. Yeah. Mm. 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 What brings Cindy Gaia to the Pink Elephant? Because I'm, I'm very good friends with Rita Cosby. I've been on her show um, a couple of times. Isn't she phenomenal? Oh, she's a wonderful person. Only in this rainstorm would I come out for Rita. Oh, really? I gotta tell you something else, Barry. I just got my own shoe line. It's called the Bijou, like kisses. Would you like to give this man a kiss? Oh, <laughs> See your shoes? Yes, I have perfect. Look at those legs. <laughs> we love your legs, they're yeah, beautiful. I'm, I'm a perfect size six, I'm a foot model. You shave? For Victoria's Secret. A little bit, but I'm blonde. Yeah! <laughs> You're a real blonde from head to toe. No, actually, these are Steve Madden's, but I'm, I'm his fit model, too. Oh, oh mamma mia! Can I wear them? Um, How about new? Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Don't I look good? You're gorgeous. May I have a little gift before you go? Mm. So what are you up to, gorgeous? I have to tell you something really exciting, Barry, and I want, you, you know, you're going to be one of the first to come. Come, I'm opening a wine bar called Wine and Roses at 73rd in Columbus, and it's going to be so much fun. We're we'll going to be there. Uh, who, are you, are you opening it? We're yeah. opening in about two, three weeks, so I want you to come to maybe the opening. What is it called again? Wine and Roses. Hi, it's Barry Z from the Barry Z Show at the Pink Elephant with James Edstrom, celebrity photographer. Why are we at the Pink Elephant, James? We are at the Pink Elephant to celebrate Rita Cosby's boyfriends, Tomacek's fabulous birthday bash. Oh, that is such good news. <laughs> oh, Sydney Guy, we love you. I love you too. I love we you. love you. Sydney Guy are here now. Uh oh. oh I, already did my I thought I was the only supermodel you were interviewing. Mwah. Do you know that every time I do an interview with Barry Z, I get in trouble? For real? No shit. There we go. You got three Cindy Gaias here. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the three Stooges? I love you guys. I love you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um. Well, Barry, what do you think about that interview? It's over. It's not over yet. Nothing is over! Nothing! So listen to me. Are you the premier party promoter now in New York? 
I'm not the premier party promoter, but I handle so many celebrities. I photograph them all, and I'm on so many TV shows now. I think uh, the paparazzi are out of control, the publicists are out of control, and the celebrities are out of control. What do you say to folks who say, okay, look, in the Woody Harrelson case, you've, worked, you've done some pictures with Woody Harrelson. How has he handled you? Woody Harrelson has always been against the celebrity photographers. Always. He's, he's always been nasty. He's always been mean. He says really mean things to them. I mean, he's going to a public place. He knows the paparazzi are going to be there. What does he expect? Let me play the little clip again, because here's the confrontation between the photographer and Woody Harrelson. Everybody, judge for yourselves. I'm doing his filming. Turn it off. All I'm doing is filming. I'm asking you to turn it off. So and, turn it and off. And I'm telling you, all I'm doing is my job. Will you stop doing it, please? All right, come on, man. I've asked you to stop. Are you going to stop? Not when you ask me like that. Hey. Hey, bro. You know, and it's hard to say because we weren't there, but when you see it, James, it doesn't sound like he ran up to him. It sounds like he's still just taking pictures. Uh, what do you say about what happened here? Well, from what I just saw there, it looks like that he went over to the paparazzi and started the confrontation himself. He's touching the guy's equipment. He's touching the guy. It looks like he choked him. That's you know, a good photo. If it had been the other way around, if we had gone up to him and touched him and pushed him and shoved him, it would have been a whole different story. But obviously, from the footage, you can see that Woody <coughs> made the first move. Woody touched his equipment. That's the number one thing a celebrity should never do is touch a photographer or his equipment. People come to me ask me, can I throw them a good party? Oh, when you caught you? Oh. What are the hottest photographs now as far as celebrities go? It, you know, it depends what it is. Same old thing, scandal. Scandal. We got to catch you in scandal. Like Star Jones? Come on! You know, Star Jones, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about her husband, Al. And you mean queer Al? Did I say that? Yes. Yes. How's your lawsuit with Alec Baldwin? The Alec Baldwin, they just let Alec Baldwin out of the lawsuit, okay, claiming we didn't have significant evidence, and we are filing an appeal because we never got a good deposition out of him. The lawyer would not let him answer any questions, so we're filing an appeal, and within another six months to a year, his ass is right back in the case. We're here at the Pink Elephant. What's well, happening? Well, Barry Z, wherever you are, there's a party. And my lovely, wonderful boyfriend, Tom Bednarik, we're celebrating his birthday. I love surprises. In the news business, there's always surprises, changes, but he is a very shrewd man. And for us to be able to pull off a surprise is a major feat. We did a lot of sneaking, a lot of weaving, a lot of bobbing, and I think we pulled it off. I heard he was so stunned. I saw his face. It's magical. Wow. Now, we know you, Rita Cosby, from MSNBC, right? Are the stalkerazzi, as some call them, out of control? New questions tonight after a confrontation between actor Woody Harrelson and a cameraman, all caught on tape. Live and direct with us tonight is publicist to the star Cheryl Kagan. She's worked with the Olsen sisters and also Hugh Grant, among many others. And also with us is celebrity photo agent David Hans Smith. And in studio with us is celebrity photographer, good pal of the show, James Edstrom. You just got a promotion. I actually just got a promotion. I'm going to be doing two hours. I'm going to be doing MSNBC Investigates, which is our big documentary unit. And I'm also doing a big specials unit for big get interviews, long-term things, the things I've always loved to do. And for me, this is a dream. That is fantastic. I'm so glad you could spend this very special night with us. Very easy. We love you. We love you. You are fabulous. Tom, happy birthday. Very easy. This, this is, is the very easy. Oh my God. God. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. Very How old are you? Uh, I'm I'm old enough to. I, I always say the 30, 35 again. There we go. <laughs> Tom is a great musician, on top of being a great boyfriend. So we gave him this guise that he was performing somewhere tonight, but we couldn't tell him where. Someone else's birthday. So when he walked in and his eyes just were wide open, it was a great treat. I heard you say the line. Words were just like diamonds. Diamonds, 
sun. I was crazy in my heart, knowing you're the one. Oh, don't you know I praise you now? Praying that I'm in a heart. You're in my heart. You're in my heart. You're in my soul. You're the greatest part of me. He's not just my boyfriend, but he's my best friend. And I just, I'm so thankful for him every day. It's a blessing. And uh, it's wonderful to be with someone who every day you wake up, you say, this is the best thing. Life is great. I got the best person by my side. And uh, I want to continue the magic. We, we're in love. <laughs> announce your engagement soon or what? We're, we're, we're just enjoying life. We're enjoying time together. Every day for us is precious. Love, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Jersey, we love you. Thank you. We love you. You're the greatest. Thank you. I want to be like you when I grow up. Oh, my God. Vice versa. <laughs>